Matty, um, great for Port Adelaide to be recognised with uh, an opportunity to play in the grand final rematch given the circumstances. Oh, yeah, it certainly is. Um, it feels a bit odd, to be honest. It's been 18 months since we played in the grand final. But, um, look, Port Glenelg games are always uh, traditional rivals and it's it's great to be a part of the Anzac Day weekend. So how does, how does this feel? It's, yeah, it's more than 550 days since, they, since the grand final. So uh, they call it a grand final rematch. How does it feel uh, look, a year and a half later? To be honest, Andrew, I probably wouldn't have called it that myself. Um, it's round... What do I be round three now? Um, it's a huge game for us. Obviously, haven't started the, the season overly well. Um, we've got to move on pretty quick. And uh, look, any game to be able to play a night game at Glenelg um, is huge for us and huge for our supporters. And it's good for the competition. So it does feel a little bit strange to um, call it a grand final rematch, but uh, it is what it is. A bit of an extra spark, though. I know Port Adelaide power, but the AFL club obviously have your Anzac Day match every year against St Kilda which is Sunday, you guys are the, the night before. But are you building it up as an Anzac, as Anzac round match for your boys? Oh, certainly. I think um, we're playing for the bon Bob Quinn medal, which is Bob's obviously a great um, over our football club and, and South Australian football. So uh, to be able to um, play in a game which recognises him is huge for us, huge for our football club and huge for our people. What does that mean uh, to the players in particular, Matt, given that, I guess, um, it'll be awarded in both matches this weekend? Oh, it's certainly something we'll talk about closer to the game, uh, something that um, a lot of our younger guys won't know a hell of a lot of, about, um, but we'll certainly touch on it. To be able to win a McGarry medal e either side of World War II is um, a huge achievement and, and one that needs to be recognised. So, look, we'll touch on that pre-game. Uh, we're in our captain's run meeting and, and discuss that with the boys. Um, certainly something I haven't brought up yet. How do you rate? Um, look, it is only Wednesday. I think we've got, obviously got a couple of sessions to get through uh, with the AFL side playing on Sunday. Selection obviously hasn't been done yet. So we have caught the rough end of the deal with injuries at the moment. So I do suspect that there will be a couple of changes, but who and, and who comes in, um, time will tell. Yeah, fair game. Um, oh, look, we know he's a class player. Um, the thing that really impressed me was his leadership. Um, in a game that we, you know, it was a really good game against South Adelaide, which we just went down to. So, um, look, Rock was really good. Um, you mentioned Sam Papa, he was good as well and, and working his way back into some match fitness. So, we've got some guys that can step up and play AFL football if needed. Awesome. Bounce back from obviously having the time off, but now he seems to be tracking really well in himself. Yeah, look, he seems to be. I thought his game on the weekend was solid. He obviously needed the run. Um, you know, whether he needs another run or not, I suppose time will tell. But um, he's come back with a really good attitude. He seems to be in a really good place, and um, we love having him around the club. You must be pretty pleased with the form of some of your sample contracted guys, like Ethan Moore and a Campbell Wildman really popped up. Yeah, spot on, Zach. I think um, the form of, of Ethan over the first couple of games, Luke Sermon, um, Cam Wildman, you know, Jake Westbrook, Jake Wiedemann have been really important for us. Um, those guys obviously didn't get the opportunities they wanted at their previous Sanford clubs to play league football and they've come across to us and been really important for us. Ethan in particular has really um, taken hold of his opportunity, getting a couple in a big game against South in the weekend. Yeah, look, he um, won a best and fairest in the Southern Footy League with Yank Kalila last year and um, we knew he could play. I actually, um, his dad was the CEO at Glenelg when I, when I coached there and um, he comes from a fantastic family. So to be able to have him on our, in our contracted group is really important for us and, um, and he's still developing. He's only a, a young man that hasn't played a lot of league football so we expect him to get better um, but he was pretty good on the weekend.